Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Tuesday, September 24th, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with official statements released by both Vince McMahon and Janelle Grant regarding the imminent Netflix documentary series, Mr. McMahon. Yesterday, in a rare appearance on Twitter, the former WWE chairman released the following, quote, I don't regret participating in this Netflix documentary. The producers had an opportunity to tell an objective story about my life and the incredible business I built, which were equally filled with excitement, drama, fun, and a fair amount of controversy and life lessons. Unfortunately, based on an early partial cut I've seen, this doc falls short and takes the predictable path of conflating the Mr. McMahon character with my true self, Vince. The title and promos alone make that evident. A lot has been misrepresented or left out entirely in an effort to leave viewers intentionally confused. The producers used typical editing tricks with out-of-context footage and dated sound bites, etc. to distort the viewer's perception and support a deceptive narrative. In an attempt to further their misleading account, the producers use a lawsuit based on an affair I ended as evidence that I am, in fact, Mr. McMahon. I hope the viewer will keep an open mind and remember there are two sides to every story, end quote. Later in the day, in response to the statement, Grant's legal team released the following statement of their own, quote, Vince McMahon physically and emotionally abused, sexually assaulted, and human trafficked Janelle Grant for more than two years. Calling his horrific and criminal behavior an affair is delusional and nothing more than a sad attempt to save his shredded reputation. Although Miss Grant has not seen the Mr. McMahon docuseries, we hope it shines a bright light on his abhorrent and criminal actions by accurately portraying the realities of his abusive and exploitive behavior. Miss Grant will no longer be silenced by McMahon. Her story, though deeply troubling and exceptionally painful, is one that can help other abuse survivors find their voices. We seek to hold McMahon, John Laurinaitis, and WWE accountable and to give Miss Grant her day in court. End quote. The documentary Mr. McMahon is scheduled to debut on Netflix tomorrow. WWE presented Monday Night Raw live last night on USA Network from the Toyota Arena in Ontario, California. In the main event, Jey Uso became the 186th Intercontinental Champion, defeating Braun Breaker in 20 minutes and 49 seconds and ending his title reign at 51 days. Uso finding the reserve of energy when he needs it! Fear! Could this be the moment? Could it be? For the first time ever, could Jay grab gold? Oh my way, here it is. Go ahead and yeet, he did it. Here is your winner, and new Intercontinental Champion, The win marks Jey Uso's first singles championship. In a match to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the formation of the New Day, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston lost to the Creed brothers thanks in part to a distraction from Chad Gable. Brutus Paul! Oh no! Woods in trouble, hooks the leg, and a win, and a big win for American Made! Here are your winners! Well, that matchup had it all. Chicanery, athleticism, outside interference. The scheduled match between Bronson Reed and The Miz never took place as Braun Strowman ran in and attacked Reed, leading to an extended pull-apart brawl involving numerous WWE officials and security. Gunther once again refused to grant Sami Zayn a shot at his World Heavyweight title, even after Zayn defeated his right-hand man Ludwig Kaiser. In other results, Io Sky and Kyrie Sane of Damage Control beat the Unholy Union, Dragon Lee pinned Carlito, and in the opening promo segment, Dominic Mysterio revealed that he would be suspended above the ring in a shark cage during the upcoming Bad Blood match between Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. In ratings news, SmackDown drew an audience of 1.494 million viewers for its second episode on the USA Network last week, according to Programming Insider. That's the smallest audience for a first-run episode in its normal time slot in the show's 25-year history. That's also a drop of more than 13% from the previous week's USA Network premiere episode. 
The rating in the 18-49 to 49 year old demographic was a .45, down almost one-fifth from the previous week's demo rating of .55. Later on Friday evening, AEW Rampage drew an audience to TBS of 327,000 viewers, the largest audience for the show since July 12th, and up 30% from the previous week's audience of 250,000. The rating in the 18-49 to 49 year old demographic was a .12, which was the highest demo rating for the show since March, and up more than 70% from the previous week's demo rating of .07. In more WWE news, tickets for WrestleMania 41 will go on sale October 25th, according to an official announcement made yesterday. The event is scheduled to take place on April 19th and 20th at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. WWE's deal with Hulu is set to expire this month. Episodes of Raw, NXT, Total Divas, Total Bellas, and other shows are expected to be leaving the streaming platform starting Thursday. Some WWE content, such as the A&E biographies, WWE rivals, and love in WWE with Montez Ford and Bianca Belair will remain on the platform. And turning to the United Kingdom, the Progress Tag Team title changed hands over the weekend with the Smoking Aces team of Charlie Sterling and Nick Riley dethroning Big Damo and Axel Tischer of Sanity on Sunday in London. In the main event, Luke Jacobs retained the Progress Heavyweight title against Eddie Dennis. In other selected results, Rio successfully defended the Progress Women's title against Emerson Jane, and Marina Shafir retained the Defy Women's title in a three-way match with Kanji and Nina Samuels. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall just the wrestling news the wrestling news is a division of arcadian vanguard and the wrestling newscast is a production of the arcadian vanguard podcast network